What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Apparently it's a pixel day today. Google just dropped Android 14 QPR2 Beta 3.1 for all eligible Pixel devices. As you can see here, we just pulled it in on our Pixel 8 Pro, but it's available as an OTA for everybody enrolled in the program. And this is a massive bug fix update. Apparently there was a lot more issues in here than we thought. We honestly haven't experienced too many on our Pixel 8 Pro. Again, that doesn't mean they don't exist. So this list is so extensive. We'll throw up a link where you can go see everything. We're not gonna read it to you guys today. This is going to be more of a quick um, PSA video for you guys, just letting you know it's here, seeing how it runs quickly. And again, of course, checking that temperature on the initial upgrade to see where we're at. So full disclosure here, it's not gonna be one of our long in-depth videos. We're just gonna do a quick overview. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the beta just finished installing, as you can see here, we'll go ahead and let that turn on for a second and get all ready to go. First things first, before we dive into it, let's go ahead and do our temperature check. And unsurprisingly, again, unlike how some competitors, <coughs> Apple's heat management goes, especially during upgrades going over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, this definitely stays under that, no surprise at all. Let's just be honest, Google does these updates much better, especially at this point from a heat management standpoint and as far as the design on thermals on Android phones. It is what it is, unfortunately, at this point. Now, aside from that, let's go ahead and get logged in. Once this finishes loading up, um, we'll go ahead and dive into it. But first things first, this build was about 156 megabytes file size. It does obviously have your January security patch and it is running Google Play Services 23.45.23. So again, we're not expecting too much here, right? Let's go ahead and just take a quick look. You can see it's still loading. It was a little laggy there in settings and then system. You can see the lagginess is somewhat there, but we'll go ahead and just check here. And you can see obviously everything's up to date with that security update of January 5th, just as expected. Um, the actual build number here is going to be, as you can see, AP11.231215.1. So let's go ahead and just kind of jump around a little bit and see what we see. You can definitely see it's still a little glitchy, even though it looks like everything finished loading. Let's go to CNET really quick and just kind of scroll back through. Let's get out of systems. Let's check one thing, actually. Okay, that new shortcut toggle is still working pretty well. That's good to see. It looks like it is smoothing out a little bit too now. Let's go ahead and jump to Best Buy. This app always takes a little while to load, but even that actually kicked in pretty easily. Definitely a little lag there. You can see it kind of just crashed. Um, nothing to be expected or surprised about. Again, it is still obviously a beta, but it should operate hopefully normally as this, again, was a massive bug fix update. So again, not gonna ramble on this video. We're not gonna go into the list of the probably 30 plus bug fixes that are implemented here. Just wanted to let you guys know it is out. So again, short and simple video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next drop that we're gonna have. And a spoiler alert, that is going to be in the next day or two on the S24 Ultra. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.